I, I will not uh, be preaching to you this morning. This is the first time I will be doing this since our seminary days. I just can't uh, ignore Pastor Saul uh, for his uh, request to do, to do it here in your congregation. Uh, please bear with me. I'm not really a singer. Just, I'm a songwriter. But he insisted so that I, I had no choice but to do this. To tell you honestly, I am shaking right now. Normally, I, 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 I am nervous to do uh, this thing uh, rather to, uh, to preach a one-hour sermon. <laughs> okay, anyway, this is for God's glory. Uh, if you are familiar with FEBC, a Christian radio station in the, in the Philippines, and its ministry is called Papuri. They collected Christian songs through uh, a music festival. So most of the songs that I will be singing to you this uh, morning came from the album of this uh, Papuri. I'm really shaking. <laughs> uh, in 1988, uh, when the Philippines were considered one of the most corrupt countries in Asia, uh, when we were still uh, in the height of recovery under the presidency of the then uh, President Cory Aquino, many Filipinos gathered together in prayer for our country uh, to ask God to heal our nation. They prayed for the Philippines to be healed from corruption, human rights violation, injustices, and other social illnesses that brings violence uh, poverty and uh, moral decay in our society. So I lamented and prayed with our countrymen for God to bring healing to our beloved country. And I wrote a song that spoke of our nation's lament to God that God will restore us from idolatry and unbelief which brings curse to our nation. Uh, this song is entitled uh, Dingin and Daing. Sa lahat ng 
The next song speaks about uh, accountability. Every true believer is expected by God to manifest the love they receive from Him. Amen. I wrote a song that illustrates some of the society's illnesses like drug addiction, child abuse, and gambling, which even the government allowed to operate because of the financial gain uh, they receive from taxes, even at the expense of most families terribly affected by it. The song is entitled, Isang Katungkulan. Now, katungkulan means we have a duty, duty, duty to our countrymen, to our brothers and sisters, and duty to God. It says, destiny is not a matter of chance, it is a matter of choice. If you are born poor, it's not your fault. But you, if you die poor, then it is your fault. Mm -hmm. You can choose to be with God, or choose to be not with God. To live a righteous life, or not. To choose life, or death. Or to choose blessing, or curse. God had already offered us His gift, His only Son, Jesus. It's your choice to acknowledge Jesus as your Lord or not to be His enemy or His friend. One thing is sure, and this is my testimony, when I decided to put my trust in Jesus and acknowledge Him as my Lord and gave my life into full-time ministry as pastor and a minister of the gospel, my life since then became dependent on God's promises provision, guidance, and protection. As the familiar hymn says, my hope is built in nothingness. 
Jesus becomes my life, my all, and my hope always belongs to Him, not only in this earthly life, but until eternity. The next song speaks of this, Buhay at Pag-asa. Si Jesus ang katugunan sa lahat ng aking kailangan. Dahil naranasan ang kanyang kadakilan, ang lahat ko'y inialay sa kanya. Tagumpa. the greatness of God, that person becomes contented, satisfied, and peaceful in his life or her life. That person will always say, what more can I ask if I have God in my life? I have everything. This is the message of this next song. Wala nang higit. Sana ang pag-ibig mo Na siyang sa buhay ko ay nagpabago Di na muling hahanapin pa Ang dating buhay na tayo'y gulo Ikaw ang higit na nakira sa Pag-ibig mo'y tunay at sapat Buong baiting kung sa'yo'y lalapit Kapayapaan at kasaganay makakamit Ikaw, O Diyos, ang kailangan ko sa kahinaan ko kahit may suliran ang damdam ay payapa rin iyo ako o Diyos ako'y sa'yo ikaw ang higit na dakila sa lahat biyay at pag-ibig mo'y tunay at sapat Sa'yo'y lalapit 
This is my last song. <laughs> uh, it is entitled Dakila Pagmamahal. It speaks about the great love of God, God's unconditional love to all His created being. Because of this love and grace, any one of us can be forgiven from our sins and be or can be transformed by it. This song was inspired by Chan 316. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible also says in John chapter 15, verse 13, Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. This song praises our Heavenly Father for His unconditional and great love for us. If you know the song, you can sing with me.
songs of praise and adoration that you will sing daily to honor and glorify our God. Let us all pray. Almighty God, our gracious Heavenly Father, I pray that you bless this congregation for them to fulfill the ministry you have entrusted to them. Bless their pastor and leaders of this church with wisdom and understanding, and may your divine revelation continue to guide and direct them always. May each individual and the family they represent continue to receive your unconditional love, uncommon blessings, and favor. Enrich them with every good thing in life, and may the indwelling and filling presence of the Holy Spirit empower each one of us that our lives may truly be a living testimony of your power, your love, and your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Yes.